So stability study is one of the integral part of product development as well as manufacturing. Without stability study, one cannot ascertain the product's quality at the end of the expiry or the shelf life of the product. It is also very important whenever you are conducting a stability study, there are different types of stability studies you have to conduct. And as a part of today's video, we are going to understand what are those different types of stability studies and what are the requirement of the number of badges. Hi, my name is Bhaskar Natte. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub. I have helped more than 700 pharma professionals to get absolute clarity on various technical aspects with the help of a proven system. So if you are struggling with technical aspects or career growth and would like to unleash your true potential, join the Pharma Growth Hub today itself. To know more about the services of the Pharma Growth Hub, send me a WhatsApp message as interested on the number that you are now seeing on the screen. So let us understand, you know, what are the various uh, stability studies that one has to consider and what are their, what are the requirement as far as number of batches are concerned. So let me first zoom in a little so that you will be able to see the screen. Okay, so these are the eight different points that we are going to uh, discuss today. The very first point is when it comes to a new product application. So in case of new product application, how many batches has to be manufactured? There are three batches, isn't it? So the three batches has to be manufactured in case if you are submitting a application for the new product. The second important point, the annual stability. So the moment you think about the annual stability, it only starts when you have the approved products in the list and you are now making the batches as a part of your commercial plan. And as a part of this stability, you need to load at least one batch per strain, per product, per pack uh, in a year for the given product. So. If you have multiple strength, the multiple strength will be considered as a different product. Or if the same strength is packaged into a multiple packages, then again those different packages will be considered as a different product. So the third point is stress testing. So what is meant by stress testing? So stress testing is nothing but a study undertaken to elucidate the intrinsic stability of the drug substance. And such a testing is part of the development strategy and is normally carried out under the more severe conditions than those used for even accelerated testing. So how many number of batches have to be used for conducting a stress testing? One batch. So the stress testing has to be conducted on only one batch. The fourth point is about the photostability study. It is also can be considered as a part of the stress testing, but I have considered this as a separate point. And again, you need to conduct the photostability on single batch. The point number fifth is the thermal cycling study. So the thermal cycling study <clears throat> is generally applicable for the sterile product or the products that are susceptible for phase separation, loss of uh, viscosity, if there is a chances of precipitation or if the agglomeration or aggregation can happen. So for all those products, the thermal cycling study is required. So you are going to change the temperature. It is also called as a freeze thaw study. The product shall be cycled through temperature condition that simulates the changes likely to be encountered maybe uh, when the product is under storage or the distribution, maybe higher temperature or the lower temperature. And you need to understand what is the impact of this change in temperature onto the product's quality. And you know that what kind of changes are possible. Most of the time, the study is in generally conducted for semi-solids and injectables. So how many number of batches are required to conduct the thermal cycling study? 
So only one batch suffice the requirement. You need to at least conduct the thermal cycling study on one batch. Okay, so let us understand the point number six and it is the temperature excursion study. So if during transportation the temperature gets varied extremely and if it goes beyond the, the proposed storage condition for the product, then the investigation shall be carried out for studying the impact on quality of the product. So how this excursion outside the, the label storage condition is going to impact onto the product quality has to be studied and that is nothing but the temperature excursion. Just imagine within India, you know, different location can have the different temperature. And just imagine if you are transporting a product between the continents, then the change in temperature can be a very huge and hence it is very important for you to practically conduct the temperature excursion study. So how many number of batches are then required? And here is the information. You need to conduct the study on minimum one batch. Okay, so this is the requirement. The point number seven is about hold time study for in process stages. So as for example, you are manufacturing a drug product and there are multiple stages. The first one is let us say blending. The second one is so the uh, tablet compression. The third one can be a, a coating on the tablet and all these are the in, in process stages. So for all these in process stages, you may have to wait for some time because of the cleaning time the machine unavailability etc so how long in case if your coating solution gets manufactured inside the manufacturing area and if you store at particular conditions how long this coating solution is suitable for the use now there could be chance of microbial growth inside the coating solution or even your coating solution can you know precipitate out there can be a chance of agglomeration and hence it may not be suitable for the coating. So you need to understand the in uh, the hold time study or how long this coating solution can be used. And the same is the case applicable for the another stages also. So understand this whole time study by conducting uh, uh, the let us say the stability for the blend. So in case if I manufacture the blend how long this blend can be uh, used. So generally I found people conducting the blend whole time study from one week, two weeks or even sometimes one month also. The coating solution stability also can be performed maybe uh, at initial stage, maybe in, in between the week at around three to fourth days and then maybe at around seven to eight days. So weeks time can be considered for the coating solution whole time study. In case of compressed, compressed tablets, you have a core tablets now which is ready for packaging and you are going to store that tablet into a suitable container. You can consider conducting a whole time study for a half month, one month or even up to two months also. So, so how many number of batches are required to assess the whole time study? Generally one batch suffice the requirement. And the last but not the least, it is in use study. Now what is mean by in use study? So in use study is nothing but the utilization period of multi-dose products after opening or maybe reconstitution of the injectables or dilution of the uh, injectables with this suitable solution. And then you are going to use that particular product maybe over a period of one day or sometimes even a month's time. So how much is the in use duration for that particular product? So now understand how many number of batches can be used to perform the in use study. So the two batches actually suffice the requirement according to the WHO and ACN stability guideline. ICH has not given the clear clarity on to the in use stability number of batches but ICH only says use the primary batches. So how many batches? Whether two batches or three batches. So worst case you can consider the three number of batches according to the ICH 
but when you consider the WHO requirement, they have specified two number of batches for the in-use study. So I hope you must have now understand the various requirement uh, as far as the batch number of batches are concerned for the different stability studies. We started from a new product, then we understand the annual stability, then we understand how many batches are required for stress testing, photostability testing, then thermal cycling study, temperature excursion study, hold time study as a part of in process stages, and finally the in use study. I hope this information will certainly help you uh, in planning your stability studies or even also during the discussion, debate or interviews. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.